Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I am Arif, your cloud lighting journey partner. In today's video, we're going to cover a very interesting topic that how to generate a free SSL certificate in AWS account. Well, uh, the first question could be why do we need an SSL certificate for our web application? So suppose you do have a web application uh, and uh, some sensitive information like a credit confirmation are handled by your website so if you don't have a SSL certificate attached to your website domain name then the communication from your website to client is not uh, secure because there is no encryption in place so if we want to encrypt our data then uh, we really need to use a uh, SSL certificate and uh, if you are using AWS, then you are in a very good luck because uh, in AWS, we can generate free SSL certificate using AWS ACM. ACM stands for AWS Certificate Manager. So in today's video, I'm going to show how to generate an SSL certificate uh, that should be a free one. And after that, how we can uh, validate the certificate against our domain name. And then how can we use the certificate in our uh, load balancer. So after watching today's video, you'll have a complete understanding like how to secure your website using AWS uh, free SSL certificate. Well, before starting the video, I just want to talk about myself. Well, I'm Arif. I do have more than eight years of experience in uh, cloud computing and cybersecurity. I hold multiple certification in AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. Beside that, I also hold CISSP and CCSP certification. This channel is all about cloud computing, cybersecurity, and uh, IT carry related tips. So if you're interested in this field, this channel is definitely for you. So please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos. Um, without further ado, let's get started. I have logged into my AWS account and from here I need to look for certificate manager. So this is a service that you're going to use today to generate the free SSL certificate. Well, uh, this is the home page of uh, AWS certificate manager ACM and I will cre uh, click this request a certificate option. And there are two options currently. The first one is request a public certificate. So if you are uh, dealing with a public facing web application, you do have that, then you really need to use this one that is a public certificate that you can attach with your domain. So I'm gonna go with the first option that is request a public certificate. I'm going to the next option. So here we need to type the name of our domain. So before generating a certificate, we really need to have a domain name because uh, we are generating the certificate against this uh, uh, domain name. So it's a uh, domain name should uh, should be mapped with this uh, certificate. So currently I don't have any domain name, but uh, the way I'm trying to do it today is I will create a hosted zone in AWS Route 53, which is a AWS native solution for domain name. And then we'll add those uh, records to make it work. All right, so I'm gonna come up with a random name. Now let's call it abc.com. When you add this one, so add another name to this uh, certificate. So once we add abc.com, it's always a good uh, a good idea to add a asterisk sign to for a wildcard. The reason is pretty simple. So this abc.com, so if we just keep abc.com, so suppose we do own this domain, then for this uh, abc.com will get a certificate but if we want to have multiple uh, subdomains like uh, root.abc.com or uh, some other subdomains that we want to do uh, for that we really need to generate a wildcard so for that we need to just uh, type like asterisk dot that means include everything that is uh, added as a subdomain of uh, this uh, root uh, domain so asterisk dot, then you can type abc.com. So it covers all the entities related to abc.com. So uh, after doing this too, now we have to choose the validation method. So there are two methods basically. First one is DNS validation. This is recommended. So what we do in this case, we choose this option if we, if we are authorized to modify the DNS configuration. So if we have the uh, access of the DNS console, then uh, this is a better option. In the, here, you will uh, add those new records under that DNS. And if you want to go through the email validation, then the owner of this domain will receive an uh, email and uh, the owner need to uh, approve that uh, this request. So, uh, but DNS validation is uh, highly recommended. So I'm gonna go with the DNS validation and the key algorithm 
we do have few options but i always go with this rsa2048 because if you see rsa is the most uh, widely used key type so i'm gonna just use that one and the tags uh, if you really want to tag your uh, certificate so suppose in your account in under your acm there are uh, hundred uh, hundreds of uh, uh, public certificates so uh, for that reason if you want to tag uh, resources you can use this one to better f uh, for better uh, uh, clarification for a better classification so in my case i don't have any so i won't add any tags in here so after that i'm just gonna click this request option so after that uh, here if we see now we have a list certificate so this is the a hyperlink that you got the domain name is abc.com is the type is amazon you should cause we requested it from aws and the status is pending because we haven't done the verification part yet and uh, in use no because it's not attached to any resources then the key algorithm everything is in here so if i click here so here what we see so on the domains this is the fun part so for domain abc.com a new cname record is created and then cname record is this one this is the name this is the value so uh, a good question could be what is a cname well cname is a type of record that we need to add to our domain name records to make a connection in between our this uh, newly generated public certificate uh, to our uh, domain name because we really need to make it uh, work because uh, uh, if we don't map it it won't work otherwise because the validation is still pending process so uh, for that uh, currently i don't have a domain name that is abc.com but uh, what i can do to show you how it need to be get done i can go to this route 53 option which is the uh, domain name service uh, from aws route 53 so i already created one hosted zone before abc.com for maybe some other tutorial i created that one so luckily this one matches that's uh, great for me so here if i see abc.com what sort of record do i have in here so right now it's a pretty uh, basic one so we do have uh, abc.com the, the, the ns record this is a default record that we have a sorry record and we do have a record with this uh, ip address okay so now we're gonna create a new record with the uh, records that cnm records that we got from our uh, acm request so if i click here recreate record and now i have to go back to this one so uh, the name cnm is this one so first we're gonna create one for the abc.com and the second we're gonna create the other one that is asterisk.abc.com. So I copied this one in here and I have to go back and I have to put it here. But uh, you see this uh, .abc.com is already present because this is the root domain. So I need to remove this part from here. So I'm gonna remove abc.com and also the uh, dot because dot is also there and the type i need to change it to cname because uh, cname what is cname record here is uh, mentioned arouse traffic to another domain name and uh, to some aws sources that's the usage of uh, cname record so uh, i have created a, a different video where i have explained every records in uh, this channel so it's named as route 53 so if you really want to learn about uh, this domain configuration in aws so please uh, visit that uh, video i'm gonna add the video link under this description okay so cname here i have uh, chosen this record type because it is matching with this one and now i have to copy the cname value too so i will copy this and i have to go back in here and uh, put it in here so now this is uh, uh, this is a type this is the name this is a value everything is here and now i'm just gonna uh, click this uh, create record option a good question could be why still is in pending state after even adding this uh, uh, status well after adding those records the answer is that we have used a hosted zone so 
a hosted zone a domain name is uh, different so a domain name is that you do have a complete uh, authority over the domain you do have the so if you had owned the domain then you can see those domains under here under this uh, domain register domain section but right now i don't have any cause i didn't purchase any domain in here so the hosted zone is a secondary thing from the domain name uh, a good question could be when we need to use this hosted zone well just think about the scenario you your application you have deployed on aws like in ec2 but your domain name that you purchase is outside aws maybe it's a godaddy so how you will map your web application with uh, the godaddy domain a uh, quick solution to this is to create a hosted zone in aws route 53 and uh, from route 53 once you create the hosted zone then you will have uh, a new record and you have to add the new record to your uh, GoDaddy domain name and so you can make a connection in between GoDaddy and AWS Route 53. So, uh, so hosted zone could be used as a bridge in between GoDaddy and AWS. But right now we don't have a domain name. So I have just shown you the process, like how to add it. Uh, but it won't uh, show our certificate as valid because it's not added to the uh, domain name uh, and i don't have the authority over the abc.com so it's more of a like demo thing that i did into this video so once you verified the connection in between your domain name and your uh, uh, public ssl certificate then you can use your ssl certificate with your application load balancer because uh, if you have a web application you must have to use an application load balancer and uh, under the application load balancer under the listener uh, listener section you can add the ssl certificate when you are defining the uh, listener configuration for https so in this way you will do a complete mapping with uh, the certificate with the load balancer and uh, the domain name and after that your website will uh, be uh, will uh, be accessible from HTTPS and all the communication uh, or data that will be transferred from your website to the end users will be all encrypted uh, I hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions related to any of this uh, configuration related to uh, public uh, certificate uh, AWS free uh, public certificate please let me know under this comment section and I will be more than happy to answer those questions well um, if you found this video helpful please uh, like and subscribe to my channel so that uh, um, you can see my upcoming videos um, if you want me to cover any specific topic also let me know and I'll do that for you uh, thank you so much guys for watching my videos it means a lot to me and uh, that's all for today have a great and wonderful day